Hi, I'm Goodman Drew Goodmanson. Uh, I'm the Automotive Program Manager at Cosworth Electronics. We're going to talk about the performance data recorder developed by Cosworth for GM. What gives Cosworth the edge when developing this system is that uh, we've been doing video and data recording for uh, over two decades in race car environments and we've used that knowledge to build this system for the road car market. It's accessible from the infotainment screen in the car. When we navigate to the performance data recorder on the main infotainment screen, we see the main home screen for the performance data recorder where you can start recording, you can choose your video overlay, you can start your lap timing selections. You can navigate to recordings and playback and you can fix some settings including the video quality. The system records uh, various data points from the vehicle systems including RPM, brake pressure, throttle position, speed, lateral and longitudinal acceleration, steering angle, tyre pressures and temperatures. You can switch the audio recording on and off, you can switch it to record automatically, you can switch the recording quality. For when the user is at the track, um, we have the lap beacon insert, which is the lap timing function, where you need to set your own beacon for the start-finish line so that the, the vehicle can report your lap times going around the circuit. And it has a really interesting feature where it interacts with the vehicle's valet mode where the performance is reduced and it acts as a, as a guard on duty. So the, the video will be recording all the time while the car is parked up. So we go back to our main screen now, start the recording. So we're going to go and set off now and come back to the recording when we're done. So as we go along, the recorder is now videoing obviously what's in front of us on the road. The data recorder is recording the information from the car and once we stop we are able to pull the data card out and get a single file that exposes everything to us. So we've come to a stop. Now we're going to stop the recording and once we're done we can go into the glove box and, and fetch our memory card. So the key difference between what you see in the infotainment when you play back and what you see on the tablet is that the data is then in graphical form uh, as, a, as a line or a value. There's two different laps that we're comparing now. Uh, what we can see is the uh, breaking points. So here obviously we've got the map of the track, the outline of, of our driving line and by breaking the track down into corners and straights we can narrow our search for time down quite easily. So moving on from the uh, mobile apps, we have some Windows PC software where there's a bit more information available uh, and a bit more freedom in how you manipulate the information. So similarly to the apps on mobile devices, we've got the overview screen. We can see very clearly here in uh, where the breakpoints are. What we can also look at then is a, a bit of a combination of, of information. So some statistics, for example, tire pressures and temperatures. Um, a bit of performance information. We have some corner view similar to the other, but we can then supplement that with video again. So we can play that back and we can see tracking on the map and on the screens. On the right hand side, we obviously got a fast lap and a slow lap. What they'll show you then is the view at the same point on the track but from two different laps. So the performance data recorder is not just a, a performance tool, it's for any user or any owner. It has a host of other features that are really interesting, even if uh, you're not at the track all the time. Mm -hmm.